Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your December love reading. Sagittarius, stick around towards the end. I will be getting each zodiac sign's future actions towards you for the rest of the month. Happy birthday to all of my Sagittarius sons out there. I hope you had a wonderful birthday season with many, many years to come. We're going to start it off with some theme cards here and see what's coming your way in terms of love and what's going on with your energy. Let's see. First card out is we have pause. We also have fear. And reinvention. All right. So I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius, especially if you are single, I feel like you are definitely putting a pause on love to focus on yourself. It looks like you are in a very, very high process of transformation, reinvention, and facing fears that could be aligned with reinventing yourself. So I definitely feel like for a lot of Sagittarius, you are in the process of wanting things to change for yourself, for relationships, whatever the case may be. If you are in a relationship, Sagittarius, I feel like you are finding yourself in a relationship that is different than the ones you have been in before. And I feel like for a lot of you, if you are connecting to someone or in a relationship, this person is absolutely going to put you front and center in facing your fears revolving around love. Whether it's fear of confessing your emotion, fear of commitment, fear of abandonment, trust issues, whatever the case may be, you're really facing them this month. So let's see what else you got, Sagittarius. We have very soon. We have... Disharmony and clarity. All right. So if you are in a relationship, I feel like things are definitely going to become clear to you. You have very soon in either how this situation can transform and or what you need to do within yourself to manifest and attract yourself in a better type of relationship. So bear with me as I read for single, separated, and in partnership, Sagittarius. I'm starting it off with singles. I definitely feel like you are receiving a lot of clarity around this time of what needs to shift within you, what decisions you need to make to set yourself up for a better love. I kind of get a newly single energy, so I feel like if you are single, you could be quite newly single and really trying to find the clarity in moving forward. Others of you, I definitely feel like you could be in a relationship that has had slight imbalance energy. I feel like there is a part of you that is either contemplating reinventing the connection as a whole or striding off on your own and reinventing yourself independently. Because I definitely feel like for some of you, you could find yourself in a relationship that is different than what you're used to. And it could be creating a sense of making you face your own difficulties, you know, where having trust issues may have made you feel comfortable because at least you are expecting the worst, right? Spirit's kind of like, look to yourself right now. See what your intention is. Do you expect the worst out of your relationship? Do you expect to come across people who are not the greatest people? There's something with your intention here. Let's see what your tarot theme cards are. We have Take the Lead with the Three of Wands. We have Rest and Reconsider with the Nine of Wands. And we have Control with Strength. Yeah, I feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you're definitely considering pulling back on a connection or just really focusing on yourself. I feel like for a lot of you, there's something going, there's, so, there's such a strong self energy here. Sagittarius, where it's either you're acknowledging the fact that 
something needs to end and you are putting an end to it and focusing on yourself and or you are acknowledging that there are still some conditioning inside of you that need to be reconditioned for a relationship to strive. It does look like there's a strong re reflection onto self this month for you, Sagittarius. What do you want? What are you looking for? What type of fears do you have that are creating disharmony within you and possibly a connection? Let's see. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have Death. We have Strength. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to find yourself in a totally different relationship. Yeah. Yeah. If you are not already in the connection that makes you feel clear, that makes you, makes you feel concise and makes you feel like, yes, that's why all those other things needed to end, then you are going to find yourself in this process now. I feel like there's a really strong up in the air energy on if this connection cannot change for the better, then this connection probably needs to end. <clears throat> and I feel like it's you who feels that. I feel like it's you. So if you are in a happy, healthy, amazing relationship, I feel like this reading is only resonating to the fact that this relationship is going to help you reinvent yourself. If you are in a relationship or in a single process where you're like, yeah, 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 I'm focusing on me. I can't deal with this anymore. Then this is definitely your reading and finding yourself a better outcome in your love life. Someone who is acknowledging you better. Someone who sees you better. I mean, some of you, Sagittarius, this could be the way your person feels about you. They may feel like this relationship is not changing. This relationship is just causing them to feel very let down. They may pull back. But for some reason, it definitely looks like there is a pullback energy. So I feel like this person is scared to lose you. But I feel like they're not doing anything to keep you either. And others of you that are in healthy relationships, I feel like you're going to go through a process and see just how strong certain past experiences were conditioned inside of you that now need to change. Because a lot of you are with someone who is not a liar, they're not a cheater, and they don't deserve that to be projected onto them because of your past. Others of you, this is something that you need to get yourself out of. If you know for a fact you're with somebody who doesn't have integrity, that doesn't tell the truth, then it's time to find clarity on that and pull back and be patient for something better to come your way. So very interesting reading you have here. It's just very strongly about self, I do have to say. Despite there could very much be another person around you, it looks like no matter what, there's a focus on self. So let's get to the second half of your reading here, Sagittarius. Each zodiac sign's future actions towards you. You have strong Leo in your energy. So some of you, Leo energy around you are in your chart or could be the person that you end up being with after the fact. Um, so let's see what we got going on here, Sagittarius. We have Aries, future actions towards you are the five of wands. Some of you may find yourself in some sort of argumentative or conflictive energy with an Aries around this time. Could also be that there's other people around. There could be external influences causing drama, but there definitely could be some challenge between the two of you this month. Next up is Taurus with the Seven of Wands. Could be dealing with a slightly defensive Taurus or a Taurus who's type kind of like beating around the bush, not telling you everything, um, choosing their battles wisely. Could also be stubborn sometimes. Next up is Gemini with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like some of you may be neglecting a Gemini or a Gemini feels highly neglected from you. Some of you, a Gemini could be abandoning you as well and making you feel neglected, unacknowledged. It definitely looks like there could be some sort of abandonment there if there has not already been. Five of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you may feel very ignored by a Gemini. You feel like your needs and your wants are not heard by this person. Next up is Cancer with the Three of Pentacles. So it looks like Cancer is highly interested in working together with you, showing you that you two can be compatible. Some of you, you could work 
actually with a cancer. Um, some of you, a cancer could be reaching out to you to compromise, have closure, to work things out. Next up is Leo with the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you, a Leo is definitely working on themselves here. I feel like they want to feel seen, heard, and acknowledged by you. It's like they're sitting in this energy of independence and they're hoping that it is attractive towards you in a sense. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to start getting more of Leo's attention because it looks like they want more of your attention for some reason. Next up is Virgo with the Tower. So something unexpected coming in from a Virgo. Let's see what it is with the Tower. We have the Ace of Swords. So unexpected communication coming in from a Virgo. Unexpected conversation. You two may talk about something that comes out of nowhere. Or a Virgo may say something to you that you did not expect to hear. Next up is Libra with the Three of Cups. Some of you could be dating a Libra and will continuous date, continuously date a Libra. Others of you, there could be reconciliation and or a friendship between you and Libra as well. Next up is Scorpio with the Ace of Wands. So new spark coming in between you and Scorpio. Some of you could actually be meeting a new Scorpio. Scorpio could be reaching out to you with a lot of passion, definitely taking action towards you in the way of wanting to spark something between the two of you. Scorpio is definitely coming your way with a lot of passion this month. Next up is we have... Sagittarius with the King of Pentacles. So you are Sagittarius. So take which way you want to take this. So it looks like Sagittarius is feeling very, 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 very settled here. I feel as though they're strongly focusing on their work life, their home life. If you are in a relationship with one, I feel like Sagittarius will be very stable for you this month. If you are just around one and or dating one, I feel like they're going to show you that they're a very stable and loyal person. Next up is Capricorn with the Eight of Pentacles. So it looks like Capricorn is highly interested in putting effort and working on this connection. It does look like they are focused on their work and career, but I do feel like they're also interested in putting some of their effort into this connection with you, Sagittarius. Next up is Aquarius with the Six of Cups. So it looks like Aquarius is missing you, loving you, wanting you. Definitely some emotion and some love coming from an Aquarius this month. They could even come around telling you that they miss you and they want you. Could be a resurfacing of an Aquarius as well. Some of you may even have a child with an Aquarius. And lastly, we have Pisces with the Four of Swords. So it looks like Pisces isn't taking much action. The Four of Swords is not an action card. So they could very much be saying to themselves, focusing on their healing or even if they are taking any action, it looks like just to heal. Nine of Wands. Yeah. So if they are taking any action towards you, I feel like it's solely in the department to heal things, whether with you or just talk about healing. Let's make sure everyone's out here for you, Sagittarius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius. Um, with the way the reading came in, I do feel like this could be a slightly intense time for you. Um, so definitely stay grounded, stay happy, stay healthy, meditate if needed. And I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a good one, Sagittarius. Bye now.